Previously on Lace Up, the ultimate sneaker challenge. This is pencil. It looks crazy. Your challenge for this week, the Adidas Superstar. Classic. Um, I'm sorry. Our concept doesn't make sense to me. How much was this accomplished without Desmond? All of it? Welcome, Anthony Anderson. This could be a piece of shit, but the way they sold that piece of shit to me, I bought it. And the freshest kicks belong to... Bam! <laughs> the new black. Sneakers aren't just shoes, they're a cultural phenomenon. Sneakers are just like the sexiest girl you've ever seen. And today, they represent an industry worth over $55 billion worldwide. This is my baby right here. Enter Dwayne Edwards. The former design director at Air Jordan has created kicks for Camelo Anthony, Derek Jeter, and even Michael Jordan. And now Dwayne mentors the next generation of great sneaker designers at Pencil, the world's top footwear design academy. He's bringing together 12 aspiring shoe designers from all over the globe to compete for the opportunity of a lifetime. Take everything, leave with to create shoes for Adidas. Each week, four teams of three will compete to come up with one-of-a-kind kicks inspired by a celebrity so, guest. I'm digging it. I'm really impressed. You mastered it. They made a low-cut water ug. Oh, that's a bad idea. No eliminations, but no one is safe. Don't start melting down. We have to send you home. After eight weeks, the team of three with the best body of work wins. And the freshest kicks of the competition belong to... The winning shoe is being designed for James Harden and Adidas. My name is Swoozy, YouTube creator and sneakerhead. I'll be your guide on this wild journey. This is the ultimate prize, the ultimate opportunity. You have to be relentless. You gotta be ready. Reaching for the stars, we don't stop until we get it. I believe, I believe, Mr. Kelly, I can fly. This is Lace Up, the ultimate sneaker challenge. Read up. Yes. Now put your glasses in the sky, then look me in the eye. Together we made it. Coming in this week, we just picked up the first win. Confidence is 110 right now. But there's definitely some pressure because you got the first one, then every team is kind of on your back. Ready to print today? Being at the bottom, too, I did a lot of thinking. My inspiration for coming to Pencil was to provide a better life for my daughter. And to let her down would be, like, very, very hard. She got an award in school. She had a really high score on the test. Last week was terrible. Tupac and Biggie, that was Desmond's idea, and it just didn't work out. I'm looking forward to the second week. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. All right. Um. How you guys doing? Great. So if I'm not mistaken, New Black took the W last week, right? Yes. Vince, how do you feel, man? I feel real good. We're just that's it, real good. That's we got it, a W. Good. That's, I'm good. We got this. And uh, trifecta, you guys didn't come out too hot on the last one. It's clear what we have to fix and how we're going to go about doing that. And so excited to see how this second week turns out. Going into this week, our team knows that we have to step it up. Our main thing is just really making sure that we are all united in our storytelling. Are you guys ready to meet your celebrity this week? Yeah. Yes. Yes. OK. This week's celebrity is four-time Grammy Award-winning hip-hop artist, and he's a high-key sneakerhead. Please say hello to Mac Lamour. Oh! <laughs> Mac Lamour is so freaking dope. And how he talk about, like, go to shop with, <laughs> with really little money, but is still able to pull up, like, high-end fashion stuff. That's what I always about. Uh, how many sneakers would you say that you have right now? 218. Ooh, okay. That's a very specific <laughs> number, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you look for particularly in a sneaker? I look for traditional things, things that are going to have a lasting, classic, timeless appeal that we can look back in 20 years and be like, that is what stood the test of time. Before we go any further, teams, I think we should throw a little twist into the mix and throw in some high fashion. OK. This might, this might be something dope. We might be, you know, designing something crazy today. Can I also introduce supermodel Ashley Graham? Woo! Hello, Ashley. Hi, guys. 
Ashley Graham is awesome. Her whole motto is, is pledging body image acceptance, accepting what you have and flaunting it. So it's awesome to be doing a project for the both of them. All right, Dwayne, so why don't you just catch them up real quick on what they need to do for this week. All right, this week's challenge is to take a sneaker and high heel and combine them to create one brand new shoe. Your presentation is gonna include a runway show featuring two looks, one street style and one high fashion. So talk about your personal style a little bit, uh, Ashley. Being a beautiful, curvy woman, I like to show off my shape. I just think that every woman's type of body is so beautiful and she should be able to show it off in a way that she wants to. Also, the higher the heel, the better. I do not own one wedge. I do not have cork shoes. I bet they are cheap looking. I like sneakers more than heels. Just in case a zombie apocalypse ever happens, I'd rather be running in my sneakers than trying to tiptoe through heels, you know? Do you have any personal do's and don'ts that you would like for them to consider as they're trying to properly blend both of your two worlds? If you try to get too complex on the sneaker, I think a heel's gonna look like a bootleg add-on. So how do you mesh those two worlds together? It seems difficult in my head, but I believe in you. Excellent. Ashley McElmore, thanks, guys. We'll see you in five days at presentation. Awesome. Good luck, guys. Great. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. First step is getting the sneaker. Yes. Let's head on to the front. Let's go. Early sneakers like the Converse All-Star and tennis and running shoes were worn for function. But the Nike Cortez, Air Jordan, and the Superstar helped bring fashion to the footwear game. Now high fashion brands and designers like Prada, Gucci, Y3, and Jeremy Scott have taken the sneaker to the next level, and the possibilities are endless. What you see here in these boxes are four performance shoes. Last week, the focus was more color and materials. This week is color materials and design. The new black, since you won last week, you get the opportunity to choose first. Pick any one you want. Hmm. All right. We believe in you, man. No pressure. Box number three. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Nice. I like that. <laughs> nice. We got really cool camo sneaker. There seems to be a much higher level of competition this week. Good thing is that I'm extremely competitive. See if the NG first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that chi right. Oh, interesting. Mm. Uh, Nestor hicked out this really beautiful boost, but it was very sleek. It was sexy. It kind of reminded me of if Y3 did like more pure female designs. Oh, I really like these. <laughs> Ooh. The shoe that we got was orange and then kind of like this burgundy look to it and then it had these really cool triangle patterns on it. It was really beautiful. So it was kind of like a little toy for us. Oh. <laughs> We actually ended up getting the Stella McCartney boost. So super exciting because that shoe is like beautiful. <laughs> There's gold, it's a comfortable shoe. Like we were really stoked as a team. All right. So as an advantage for the new black winning, you have the opportunity to choose any shoe up here. What? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. And I think I'm gonna take this guy. The shoe that we picked was cool at first, but the shoe that we stole from Nestor's team, it just had a lot of cool stuff to play with as far as the zippers, the material. So the next step, guys, is a big one. We're gonna send you onto the field, and you're gonna go to a women's store and get some heels. Nice. Ready? Nice, yeah. yeah. Let's hit it. We have a really interesting challenge. We're shopping for women's high heels and merging them together with sneakers. But Nestor tends to overthink, and we have a lot of options. The shape, it doesn't look like what she requires. She's so Good point. Good point. I like, personally, like a bit of a chunk. It yeah. definitely makes it more comfortable for walking around, but it's yeah. not as visually appealing. Teams, 15 minutes left. I got the sneaker that I wish to work with this week was the one that I first picked, and I got stole. Are you feeling the styles? Is that a problem or no? Some style that's oh. kind of challenging a little bit. 
Why these? I'm the male in this equation. Okay. And uh, I'm referring to my two lovely ladies on my right, team. Right, right, right. But I do like them. My job is brand manager, so I am, in a sense, a leader. I'm not gonna try these on Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca did and he's okay. super comfortable. But taking a pill and fusing it with a sneaker, even just me sitting it right now, just sounds weird and confusing. Awesome, all right, my man. Thank you. This man is trying to take a lead. What's the name of this? The hip. So this would be like a skinny, and that would be like a fat one? Yeah, it's a skin heel. But I don't know if having this money in my team give me confidence. Talking to the man. You saw us steal the shoe. Why this one? The lines in it are, are kind of curvy, kind of sexy. It just has that high fashion feel to it already. Okay. And you're leaning more toward this one right now? Yeah, yeah. we got to. Hmm. Yeah. OK. Let's see if we can go for two W's in a row. It's the plan. All right, All right guys. Plan. Let's pack it up. Head back to pencil. I feel like we really lift out with our shoes. <laughs> There's a good base in which we can build off of. Yeah. And extend some lines as far as structure. And yeah. Reform, like in the back heels here. Yeah. This week, we are presenting our story as Perfect Imperfections. It's really inspired by both Ashley Graham and Macklemore, and the way they're able to take certain things about their life that some people may see as imperfect and spinning it in a way that is positive. Like, I thought it would be cool to add that, use this element to inspire like a heel piece like this. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. The struggle with last week was us not agreeing on a concept or a story. It was like we were all on a different path, so it's critical this week that we work together as a team. This is gonna look cool, you guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, I see huge opportunities here. There's um, sheer, there's lots, lots of nice uh, opportunities for color blocking. The theme we landed on is the skin I'm in. It's all about sort of taking out the insecurities um, and exposing them and being proud of them. Maybe if we had a platform in it, we could get the illusion of a skinny heel. We're blending both the street and the high-end aspect, where you have the street as your foundation, but we're adding a gator, which is going to transform the shoe to being more elegant and bougie, if you want. I'm going to design like a boot but more stylish. Wow, you guys already cut that off? Oh, that's a bad idea. Really? You know you're not getting another shoe, right? I would recommend do not manipulate your shoe. You get one chance to cut it. I wouldn't cut it now like that team over there. They don't know if that's the right part they should have cut. Just keep doing it. Nestor, I'm learning. Things get lost in translation. Between me and Nestor, between Dwayne and Nestor, just between Nestor. What happens already happened. Right. Can change it. Nah. Ashley Graham and Macklemore, they both, you know, struggle with like insecurities. They both broke barriers. You know, her being the first plus size model to grace the cover of Sports Illustrated. Him as an independent artist having two number one records. Telling the story of this show is my responsibility and I feel that I am doing a good job. That's where I got to so far. So how are you delivering it then? Because we need more of a storytelling to it. That's where like I was like stuck at. Like that's why I had to leave because I was like at a, yeah. a mental block. Oh my God, we don't have an idea. It's going to be a long night, for sure. It's up to you to drive materials to our expertise. So you have to learn how to grow your bitch bone. What? Grow your bitch bone. You have a certain amount of vertebrae in your back. Okay. And 99% <laughs> of those are bitch bones. <laughs> I get that. So here's where I'm going to scare you. Most of the material that are marked with a green tag, green is for go. Orange is, if you use this material, I will rip the spine off of your body. <laughs> That's exactly what it says. So we're going to just shut that shit down early, early, early on. Bitch bones. I'll be completely honest, in the early mornings, I am even less coordinated than normal, which is saying something. 
you ever need someone as comic relief, just watch how clumsy I am. I want to see where you guys are. Okay, so we narrowed down our main story points that we thought were most important from Ashley. So we're celebrating flaws and body positivity. Perfect imperfections kind of ties into a diamond, kind of like a sexy flaw. It's the idea that she celebrates beauty at every size. Okay, um, design direction. Taking that idea of celebrating your body, we figured that we would try and reveal as much as the foot as possible. The main focus we wanted to, to take from the shoe is that wire structure. We're experimenting with how we can implement that in a unique way um, around the heel, behind the shoe. I would want to see more exploration of how you would do that, but that's a good start. Watching her interviews, she basically talked about how she had to learn to love her body and accept it for the flaws and things like that. So our concept is the skin I'm in. We obviously love this shoe a lot, we stole it. <laughs> but I said, like, what's one thing about the shoe that you don't like? And uh, we, we saw this. Z was like, I'm not even gonna include it. So I was like, well, maybe instead of hiding it, we actually accentuate it and there's a gator attachment. It loops under um, this arch area and becomes more high fashion. Okay. I like that. Seeing that she mentioned to an interviewer that she wanted to be a Russian spy, we came up with the concept of Kiss of Death. If she was a Bond girl, she would be from Russia. Her name would be Thundra, and her weapon would be the kiss of death. So what is she physically doing now? Kung Fu and combat. So she needs to bounce off the ground. OK. So what would you do with this, Ness? Uh, a booty construction is going to be here. That shoe has to stay on her foot. Yeah, that's why I have a booty construction That there. is not going to help you. It's not going to slide off her, I mean, the, the lace. I knew you to solve problems. I know, so maybe we, this is our option, this two. Neither one of those work. You're not solving problems, you're thinking about aesthetic. True. So you guys are gonna have to focus on the function of what you need her to do. We're building up the leg, it's kind of giving that superhero-esque feel to it, and just, it also stabilizes the ankle. Our concept this week is about superhero during the day, Ashley. She's like a body activist, and she's very confident and charismatic and happy. But at night, she becomes that strong, superpower woman. We're working with making one of these two parts being able to come off. You know, Superman, he like changes into his outfit real quick. And he's like, I'm Superman now, not Clark Kent. You wouldn't know. We're naming our shoe Super Sexy Curvy Delicious. We have a great story. I'm excited about it. There's superheroes involved, and you can't go wrong with superheroes. So who came up with the superhero part? Whose idea was for her to be a superhero? Catalina. That's weird, because I help with the story, I help with the name, and even I help with the designs. All right, see you guys shortly. I am having trouble trusting my teammates, because it was like a team effort. All right, teams, listen up. Now it is time to pick some outfits for the runaway yeah. show. You've got to get two looks. One high fashion, inspired by Ashley Graham, and one streetwear, inspired by Macklemore. Since Macklemore is a guest judge, I don't know if you guys know, but he had like a hit song, Thrift Shop. Ooh. Guess where we're shopping today? Thrift Shop. At the Thrift Shop. Pick your person to come shopping, and let's take a walk. I'm going to know. I came in instead of Desmond because I don't want it to have a mediocre project again. Can't wait. You're accepting resumes if you guys don't win this challenge. Oh! <laughs> so this kind of ties in a reflecting element, a diamond element. Um, our use of color. As a brand designer, my job really comes down to storytelling. I need this black leather jacket right here. Yeah. I have a background working as a stylist. I know how to kind of build an image, build a story. So I think that's really where my strength comes. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. This could work. Got a cool 90s feel to it. I'm a guy, I'm shopping for a girl. Throwing it in. 
I rarely go to the thrift shop, but little do they know, I'm a busted out. Definitely what I'm interested in. Hello, hello. Oh my god. What do you think? So you look sexy. You should add the gold chain there. Yeah, come yeah. here. Yeah. I have, I have really more. Is that real though? 18K? No. <laughs> you look so no. good. Ow, ow, ow! Yeah. Damn! Damn, you look good. I have to walk like this, you know? Yeah. You know, our entire product depends on the process moving efficiently. Take a picture of me. Yes. But we still don't have the design. Everyone knows that they need to be accountable for the time that we spend. Look at her faces. <laughs> I consider myself an artist, so I'm going to design a comic strip of S.E. Graham. If I were to read this, I don't really know where to look. You do know no, there's different styles I, of doing yeah. comic books. Well, yeah, I know that. I don't think the storyline flows as well, though. You're the only person that said that. I think that Rebecca is a, a spoiled individual. She seems to be, like, complaining for the sake of complaining. There's so many boxes. Like, your eye gets distracted. Then when she don't get her way, she likes to have a hissy fit. What's the problem? We're still having problem with Desmond. Like, we've had to pretty much handhold him, and it's just getting to the point where I don't want to be brand manager, she doesn't want to be brand manager, and we can't be always the ones, like, having to come up with the stories. Uh, what has he contributed to this story? He's trying to research facts, and he's talking with everybody about facts, 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 facts. Facts, but he doesn't do the value behind the facts. And we can have a story, and I know if, like, if we put the time into it, we could, like, definitely create a solid story, like, more than what we could have, just giving it to Desmond. We cannot fix that. Let me, let me, let me let some stuff marinate. Today, they have to turn over the necessary designs to their shoemaker. Where y'all at? Sort of like the, the same concept that what you approve. But we're going to keep the lace here. But this is going to be the, the strap. A strap? Yeah. For what? She likes strap. Nestor continues to struggle with what he would want to do versus what is right for the consumer. As a designer, if you don't believe in that design, it's hard to sell the product, right? 100% agree, but you need to get over that part. If you can't take this, you ain't cut out to be in this industry, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Make me win happy. It's hard as f Parks are the shoot hard. Because if not, we're going to lose. And I'm not losing this week. No. I've been told we're, we're making it look too easy. Who said that? Somebody said that. Really? And I was like... It's not. No. Oh. I think the best part about our team is that me, Vince, and Zanetta kind of think on the same wavelength. The full design is, is finished, and we're on to putting our presentation together, honestly, at this point. You follow directions. Listen closely. Yeah. We're not emotionally attached, too. Right. Like, you know, like... I don't know if they want to outright say it, but I think in other groups, they're, they're getting a little envious. You know, there might be a little side eye going on. <laughs> Gee, let me talk to you for a little bit. Okay. All right. Have a seat, man. So, I want to have a conversation with you, a real conversation with you, all right? Okay. When we assemble the class, it's very specific. Someone for marketing, someone for design, and someone for, for CM. If they're counting on you to do something and you can't deliver it, then they got to do all the work. Right. What I can see from a design point of view, you are more graphic inclined. Right. It's not on the brand and product marketing side. And we need that side to be strong. Right. I want to make sure I put you in the best possible position to succeed and do what you need to do. So, um, the, the trouble I have, though, is it's not here. Ultimately, we, we do have to send you home, dude. 
and it's not a direct reflection on you as an individual. It's just a fit. I know it ain't the easiest thing to swallow, but... I'll be fine, though. Of course you will. Thank you. We were specifically looking for brand designers with the ability to create a vision and ultimately paint that picture into a story. In the case of Desmond, the fit just didn't work. Let me know. All right, bruh. Right, Coming to Pencil, being far away from my daughter was a tough decision. I do feel as though I wasn't paired with the right team. That's the fame. Thank you, man. Rebecca and Catalina, they will probably struggle because communicating and getting their message across to the crowd will be a tough challenge. Appreciate Thanks, you. Thanks, man. I don't have no regrets. I wish them the best. Take it easy, bro. You too. All right, man. <sighs> I can do it, just I need to do this first. Okay, finish that because we are really late with everything. Desmond, he didn't add value to the team. I, I've been on that place once or twice in my life when someone rejects me and it doesn't feel good. Can you start dying then, please? I'm, I need to do all the presentation stuff. When we have presentation, I feel we can work like faster without Desmond, but I'm nervous because I'm not sure we are going to finish on time. I have one thing to do, that's all. It's like I'm just trying to get the smooth transition into it and sand it down, but it's taking forever. Going into presentation, we've yet to see the physical product yet because we're still doing last minute detailings. I'm a little bit worried about what the finished product is gonna look like. It's really draining trying to get these design lines to work. Presentation is tomorrow. We don't have a lot of time yet, so it's down to the wire. I am mentally exhausted. What what color is this, though? I'm curious. I'm still working on the we're, color, we're, man. We don't need we're color just, right now. We just got the yeah, line right I get burnt to this design. Our design come out really cool. I'm pretty proud of it. Our presentation is tomorrow. We still have a lot to do. We're definitely behind. It's definitely a race to the finish. You gotta meet your deadlines. Lay your hands down. Cheer up a little bit. Hi. Come on. So it's week two in presentation. We were able to sort of get a win last week, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, we've just got to go and try and press the judges every single week. Welcome, teams to your second presentation. Uh-oh, somebody's missing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's kind of like glaring it's at right A little there. bit. The height, you're down, Desmond, but I wouldn't expect anything less than your best effort, so expect to see it tonight. This week was really hard on us, but I'm excited about our shoe. Catalina and I put so much work into this project. So students, this week there's no smoothie, so I will be your <laughs> MC. Just smile. Just smile. Just give it a little bit laugh. All right. As you can see, there's four judges this week. Myself, Carrie Speak, Hi guys. the senior director for women's creative direction at Adidas. We also have four-time Grammy-winning recording artist and fellow sneakerhead like myself. He specifically has 218 <laughs> pairs of kicks. <laughs> Macklemore. Hey. We have supermodel, author, body activist, mm. as well as designer. Miss Ashley Graham. <laughs> Just a reminder, you guys are ultimately competing for the opportunity to work at Adidas. So their goal this week was to take a high heel that's traditionally not known for its function and comfort. Don't I know that? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and they had to make more of a performance fashion high heel. I'm really curious about the sneaker to heel moment. I don't know that I've seen it done exceedingly well. Yeah, definitely not an easy task to take the two worlds and meld them into one shoe. <laughs> so, the new black. You're up. Let's go. I think the new black is just really good at communicating. I think we learned from them to see how they were able to support each other, and hopefully that shows in the product. The name of our project is The Skin I'm In. Obviously, Ashley, inspired by you. To us, you're the Beyonce of body confidence. Ooh. 
Almost effortlessly, you know, you shake off the haters, the internet trolls, and at the same time, you spread positive messages about body image to women, proudly shouting, to hell with your beauty standards. Yeah. yeah. And Mac Lamar, one of the coldest white boys I've ever been in the presence of, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. But you, the same way as Ashley, you just seamlessly intertwine cultural messages, positive affirmations in your music. So both of you together, you've had to overcome a lot. And being comfortable in the skin you're in is what got you to where you are. So with this project, we looked at our shoe and we looked at the imperfections and instead of hiding them, we chose to expose them, accept them, show them off and love them. If I remember, Miss Ashley, you said you wanted the shoe. Were you able to wear it? Was a young ladies event as well as a lingerie shoe? Yep. And Mr. McLemore, this shoe has to be able to come from the streets to the runway, correct? So these sound like two different events, two different extremes, but nobody has time to make two different shoes. So <laughs> instead of doing all that, we made one shoe where we give you the ability to switch it up to whichever look that you want. And we achieved this by making a gator. Basically what I did was I cut out stencils of, of the camo, used that as an underlay to start and, and started spraying the different colors and starting to build off that. It's a sexy, classy, comfy shoe that's gonna have a confidence that walks in the room far before you do. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Wow. <gasps> oh my God. The gator attack. Oh my goodness. It is really cool. Like this? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's great. I tell you what, I don't wanna speak for you, but for me, this whole like turning a sneaker into a heel, you mastered it. I mean, this this is amazing. I agree with Ashley, like just stylistically, it's really beautiful. I think you guys delivered on that balance of sexy and elegant. I don't know if you guys are working with specific colors of bottoms, but matching these two. That was actually the bottom off That's of the, the shoe. The original. Oh, the original. Oh, it was, yeah. wow. Yeah, because it does feel kind of weird to have the different color mm -hmm. kind of camo. Yeah. black and white and then and then the nude up here but um overall mm -hmm. i think that you guys did did your thing good job take your seats thank you, thank you guys all right the blueprint let's see what you have this week i wasn't feeling that confident in our team's shoe because it's difficult when you have to wait for someone i definitely feel nervous we are the blueprint and our concept for this week is the kiss of death Ashley said that she would like to be a Bond girl, and her killer move would be to kiss people to death. Am I correct? <laughs> oh, she just did oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I almost died just then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so our version of the kiss of death is a kiss that kills the old way of thinking in the modeling industry and in the music industry. You both came through and created diversity and made a change. So we're calling you guys Agents of Change. The shoe that we created for you, we had to take this heel, combine it with legendary NMD, so you could be on a whole nother level. We push the most comfortable boost technology on the heel and the forefoot, because I tried high heel before, so I know where the pressure on the heel. Let's talk about some of the colors. In the Aria Prime Pro, we have integrated the camo from the original NMD. We used a matte black and the venom on top, almost like a double camo. Lastly, we can't forget about the boost. So whether you're punching, kicking, mm. the boost is there so you can always bounce back. Thank you. All right, agents, here's your brief. Wow. Thanks. It's so outside of the box, but it still has such like a high-end feel mm. to it. It would be a shoe that I wouldn't personally buy, but if somebody put it on me, I know that I would rock it. I think there's a lot of imagination in here, but the colorway is not my favorite. It's just a little over the top, and I would have just toned it back to, you know, kind of bring it all together and center it. I love the spy concept. It's uh, really good. I mean, you thought yeah. outside the box. They didn't go for, like, the normal, like, curve or body or yeah. whatever. You thought of a character. You created a whole scenario. That was really awesome. Good job. Nice. <laughs> the hype is up next. We're really quite excited to present to Macklemore and Ashley. We have a great story, great shoe. We've worked tremendous hours on this and gave it our all. Ashley, you're walking down the sidewalk when all of a sudden, ring, ring. It's Macklemore here. <laughs> we have a situation, we need your help. And just like that, Ashley dashes through the scene, changing into her alter ego. Sexy, super curvilicious. <laughs> We started out with a short kind of heel. I was going for more of an Ashley Instagram type of a look. It was not working. And it was 2 a.m. at this point, and we were just balls deep in it. We couldn't 
think of anything more. Talk more about the balls of deep. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, but Catalina with like her cute accent, she was like, we just need to go for it. So as a challenge, we needed to show the duality between the two personalities, you are as a day and as a night hero. This is the first part of your shoe and you're just strolling down the street and you have the sneaker on you and then you get a call again from Macklemore. So you need a race to the scene. You have to strap it on quick. So we have a zipper going all the way up to the front. You have your extra cushion just so that you can get there faster. And we've also made the sole a little bit thicker so that it distributes the weight a little bit better. Well, thank you. Thank you both for inspiring us. See you with the capes. You guys have a good time. <laughs> So here's your leg. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right. Wow. In case you need another one. Oh, I am a comic. Yeah, you have your own comic book. These so. presentations. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is the part that I really like the most is that there is a zipper, but it can be opened depending on how big or small the leg is, right? It's definitely very wearable and I like it and I would definitely wear it. Would you wear this? I would wear this. Yeah? I would wear this. <laughs> this makes me want to hoop. This makes me want to go out. Right? <laughs> I'm really impressed. You guys killed this challenge. Being down one, you guys did a great job. But I will have to give you a little bit on the balls. Was yeah, it sorry deep? about that. Hi, what was it? I can't remember what balls. it was. I don't know, I don't want to be there. Yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just be conscious of the words that come out of your mouth. It was my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so to close us out, trifecta. I think I'm sold on the shoe and the concept, but I can't lie, I'm a little bit worried about the presentation. Mm -hmm. The other three groups did a good job mm -hmm. setting the bar high, so mm -hmm. coming in as the last group, we gotta knock it out pretty mm -hmm. much. We were tasked with reinventing two of the most iconic pieces of footwear, the running sneaker, into a classic stiletto. What's a symbol of perfection? To us, it was a diamond. But what makes diamonds really interesting is when they're not perfect. It's about celebrating flaws. So our color inspiration is actually influenced by how light hits a diamond. So depending on the angle and the intensity of the light depends on a certain color that you see. So I'm gonna talk from our first prototype. Don't look too scary, first looks way prototype. better than the first, first prototype. prototype. And the outsole is made from a stretch web rubber which houses the boost midsole for cushioning. As far as like the heel, the toe, and the perimeter, that's made of a pebble suede to give you that luxurious feel, flexibility. The heel cap has that shine like we were talking about with the diamonds. The knit ankle collar for a tight fit and breathable support. And of course we had to include that, that boost midsole so that you can walk in your high heels throughout the whole day. So, we hope you really like it. Wow. Now this is like very Stella McCartney. I like that it kind of looks like a sneaker mm -hmm. still. It's definitely a specialty shoe, but in the best kind of way. My only criticism is seeing the prototype. For me, like if I'm making a song, when my song is done, I don't go back and show people rough drafts because in a way, I kind of like this colorway more. And then it, I think it lessens the impact of your final product. You guys did deliver a really compelling design. Nice work. Yeah. I do have to say one thing. It's one thing to see all the prototypes here in person, but it's a whole other thing to see them actually in action. Oh, absolutely. They were also tasked to put on a little bit of a fashion show for you. <gasps> Ooh. That, yeah, fashion show. We'll start off with the streetwear look first, and then we'll roll right into the high fashion. Let's start the runway show. Our shoe on the mall looked amazing. I'm hoping Ashley notices that we blended the two worlds very well. I'm just hoping Macklemore notices that it's cool enough to be considered street. <laughs> when the model came out and they changed the lighting, see like that camo stand out? I think that made like a whole lot of difference. Our shoe, our shoe was dope. Those look better on. Our model, I'm really hoping that she's not gonna trip because we have the bottom sole of it on there and I'm like, oh, that's gonna make it hard to walk in. It's a little nerve wracking.
looks amazing. It actually looks sexy and it's functional. And hopefully they both love it. You guys did a really good job. Yes. You really did. Um, so now the hard part comes. We have to excuse you guys for a few minutes while we have a little bit of deliberation and conversation amongst ourselves. Thank you guys very much. Now the tough part begins. So we have new black. To me, it was night and day seeing it here like this. But then when I saw it walk down the runway, I could not see myself in this shoe. That's the power of putting it on the consumer's foot. Right. There's something simplistic about this, you know, between the colorway and just kind of the sporty upper. Mm -hmm. This has definitely grown on me, and I did not think that I would be <laughs> saying that right now whatsoever. It's still a little clunky. It's it's maybe not what you would typically expect for, for a high heel for most, you know, body types in the model struggled a little bit blueprint this is a confusing shoe to me because it has too many things on it take a few things away and I really like this shoe I think it's a really innovative design I think that they push the boundaries but would I go to a store and pick this out for my girl to wear no the hype there's something about seeing this up close you see the craftsmanship you see how nice this mesh actually is mm -hmm and further away because of the color, I think, yeah. it looks cheap. The presentation was really great. They're down a member. Nobody else put all the time into the lace and to yeah. the zipper. The mesh did look a little cheap out there, but the leather is so beautiful. I like the chance that they took. Yeah. Different than the other designs here is if you remove the story, this doesn't look like this. They went in, they, they made a superhero. Trifecta. <laughs> This is hard because their presentation wasn't as strong. Yes. But then they made a really great shoe. <laughs> I like this. Mm -hmm. I think that this is really clean. This, again, to me, looks like something that I see at a store. If anything, I would say it might lack some imagination mm -hmm. of the other ones, but not a lot. I could yeah. see myself wearing oh, this shoe, and it's yeah. definitely my vibe of colors. The only thing for me was really just bringing out the imperfection. It's almost too perfect. Maybe they achieved that a little bit with the soul, but that was really it. You guys ready for yeah. bring them back in? Yes. Bring them back. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Do it. All right. How you guys doing? Good. 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 Well, Took us a little while to get to a conclusion, but the two teams that will step forward tonight would be Trifecta and The Hype. The new Black, The Blueprint, please take your seats. The Hype and Trifecta, you guys were the two best teams this week. Trifecta, the presentation wasn't the smoothest, but we really did love the design itself. The Hype, even though you know you guys are short, one person. It didn't look that way. You guys took a chance, and what, what I thought I loved the most about it was without your theme, your shoe wouldn't look the way it does. Huge, huge thank you to you guys for delivering. You guys both did an amazing job. So, Ashley, Ben? Well, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, too. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> this week, the team with the freshest kicks is Trifecta! Congratulations! Compared to last week, it's nice to see that we've improved, you know? Coming out last in the last week and then coming out first this week is, is a dramatic difference. It's just so crazy to think that we've gone so far so quick. I think part of it, too, is we've just grown so much so quickly. I still can't believe we won. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. It is disappointing, it's frustrating, but we can just get better from here and we can just push it farther. I'm gonna put everything I have into it. Next time on Lace Up, the ultimate sneaker challenge. Give it up for Mr. Freddy Wap. I'm digging it. You have a new teammate. No, don't talk me like that, Becca. Please, behave. Oh, shit. Fence me. Action. You're going to be shooting your music video with Jesse Wellens. The video, not appropriate. That was bad.